welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name's Jamie and today we're going to walk around video on this 2013 Hyundai i30 Trophy Edition. Starting over the front, as you can see, you've got that nice blacked out grille with the chrome garnishes going through it as well. And you also got the iconic Hyundai badging in them as well. That really gives it a nice look. Uh, and then as you can see, we'll pop around to the side a bit and take a look at these headlights. Really nice design that these headlights do have. Really nice and big as well. And they wrap into the body to give it a real nice stylish look. You do have the fog lights just below them as well. Coming around to look at our first alloy wheel. As you can see, this wheel presents in really good condition. Really nice design these wheels do have as well on the Hyundai. Um, and for 2013, again, as I just said, really good condition on those wheels as well. Good tread left on those tyres as well. Coming down to the side of the vehicle, as you can see, colour-coded exterior mirrors and door handles with the indicator integrated into the side mirror as well. Looking at these two doors, again, in really good condition. As you can see, just throughout the whole vehicle, it's, it presents really well. We'll stop at our second wheel, and again, really good condition in this wheel as well. A couple minor marks here and there, but for 2013, nothing too inconsistent, and a good amount of tread left on that rear tire as well. Come around to the back of the vehicle, where again, if you look at the taillights, just like the front of the car, they do wrap into the body. And then you've got the, uh, the high mount stop light, and also a rear windscreen wiper as well. As you can see, you've got all your chrome badging as well. The i30, and as I mentioned before, being the trophy edition, you get the trophy badge as well. And obviously, again, that Hyundai, um, that chrome Hyundai badge in the middle again. If we just pan down real quickly, you can also see that we do have color-coded exterior reverse parking sensors, which will make life a bit easier parking. Take a look inside the boot. As you can see, for a really small car, good, good amount of storage in the back of the boot as well. And you have all your floor mats, i30 floor mats for the back as well. Nice cargo, um, cargo blind, sorry. Nice parcel shelf as well, sorry, I almost forgot the name. Um, so obviously when you do close the vehicle, you actually can't see in the back of the vehicle. So if you do have your handbag or something in there and you're worried about um, the safety of it, nobody's going to be able to see it. Take a look at the back of the rear wheel now, on, on the passenger side. Again, really good condition on this wheel again. A few marks, but for 2013 presents really well. And as, as I said with the last one, same, same tread on that tyre as well. Uh, looking at these two doors, Again, really good condition. Little minor marks here and there, but again, throughout the vehicle, vehicle presents really well. <clears throat> we'll stop at our fourth and final wheel. Uh, this wheel is probably the best out of all of them, to be honest. So the two front ones are the really good ones. Um, this one, I can't really see a mark on at all, so really good, really good wheel on that end. Um, and again, good amount of uh, tread left on those tires again. What we'll do now, guys, is we'll pop the bonnet and we'll take a look at the engine. Now, let's take a look underneath the bonnet now. What we have here is a 1.8 litre four cylinder petrol engine. This engine produces 107 kilowatts and 175 newton meters of torque. We have a six-speed sports automatic gearbox in this vehicle. We also have a 50 litre fuel capacity tank, which on average is going to give you around 7.1 litres every 100 k's combined. So out of a fuel, out of, out of a full tank, sorry, you're going to get around 926 kilometres out of this really small car. All right, guys, looking inside the i30 now. I'll start you off on the driver's side door. All your power window controls, a button to lock the windows as well. Central locking your power mirror controls and then also a button to fold in the mirror so if you are parking in a tight space it will come in handy to get you through that spot. Just next to that you've got your uh, dimmer for inside your Santa cluster so just the brightness. Active eco button um, which will save you fuel but you will use a little bit more, uh, you will lose a bit of power and then traction control button as well. On your right hand stalk you've got your indicators and also your headlights and left hand stalk you've got your windscreen wipers. Onto the steering wheel now, really nice leather wrapped steering wheel. Right hand side you have all your con cruise control settings, also um, a couple of buttons to flick through the li little screen in here and also you can change the steering mode so you've got steering, uh, sorry you've got normal, sport and also comfort. And on the left hand side you have all your media control settings. Into the media screen now as you can see, nice uh, display screen here. It is a touch screen which I will just quickly display. Um, so you have AM, FM radio, USB, Bluetooth and AUX. Um, and you, as I said, with the Bluetooth, hang up and pick up are on here, um, so which is really easy to use. Just below there, you've got all your climate control settings. Um, again, really easy to use, so obviously to adjust the fan is just here, and then whichever setting you would like, you can click the button there, and then obviously your hot and cold settings just below there as well. As I said before, USB, AUX, and you've got 12 volt sockets, so one for each phone um, for the passenger and the driver, which is really handy. And then you've got your six-speed automatic gearbox. You can drive it as a normal automatic, or you can put it into uh, what they call the sport shift and shift through the gears manually. 
Just behind there, you've got two cup holders, manual handbrake, um, a nice, I think it's vinyl wrapped um, armrest. I mean, inside the armrest itself, really good amount of storage in there as well. What I'll do now is I just get the camera person just to pan around the interior, show you the condition of the vehicle um, for the leather, the carpet, um, as you would have seen the mats in the back as well. Really good condition for a 2013 vehicle with 54,000 kilometers on the abdominal. Uh, once we're done doing that, we'll jump outside the vehicle and we'll wrap up the video. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch a video on the 2013 Hyundai i30 Trophy Edition. Um, as you can see, being this car, being a 2013, it would be out of new car warranty. Uh, but we can extend that with a service plan that we do offer at an additional cost that will give you five years up to 200,000 kilometers of mechanical and electric protection. It's also going to give you 10 years of roadside assistance and much, much more as well. So please give us a call, 9907055. Ask us some questions about the plan and also book a test drive on this car. Again, 9907055. Love to do business with you. My name is Jamie. Thanks for watching.